So if 06 was a year of uh, planting, then 07 shall be a year of harvesting. And that this is the year when you will indisputably see that Google Chinese search is the best search that exists in quality, in speed, in um, completeness, in coverage, in freshness, in features, in every possible imaginable way. Now, if you don't quite see that today, um, go home and try google.cn again. See if it's already improved over a few months ago. Um, but if you still are not satisfied, you can fully expect that um, the best is yet to come. And it's not just web search. As you know, Google has a large portfolio of products, and we're building many products, localizing many products, modifying a lot of products, combining a lot of products, and they will all be coming out in 07. And that will be a um, pleasant surprise to the many fans that we have in China. Now, some of you work in companies that build five-year plans. So this is as far as we've got. Yeah, 06 last year and 07 this year. As you know, Google is in the internet industry. We don't build very long-term plans. But if you insist on seeing one more bullet, I will um, satisfy that request. You know, sometime before 7006, <laughs> we shall become the most popular, successful, useful service in China. Hopefully a lot before. <clears throat> and that's the 5,000-year comment that Eric made. You know? <laughs> so now the second point I want to talk about is building a great team. So the long-term approach we're taking is really not going to China and let's squeeze revenue, get advertising, build channels, and of course we have to do all that, but those aren't the top priority. The top priority is you got to have a team that's local, that understands Chinese users, that builds a product that they, their parents, their friends all want to use. And that starts with a team. If you don't have a team, if you've got a bunch of Americans, and Chinese Americans if you want, they're not going to build the right products because they're not in market. Uh, they're not talking to their friends about what's new and exciting and, and important to them. Okay? So building a great local team is, in fact, our worldwide strategy. And it's particularly important in China, where the market dynamics, as we talked earlier, are quite different. So how did we build a great team? So I'm going to tell you our six form formula of six points of how we managed to build uh, great R&D. Of course, first, you've got to have, hire great people. Um, so great people are all over the place. So we've announced uh, Beijing in 05, Taipei in 06, Shanghai in 07, and possibly more in the future. Um, we want to go where the talents are, right? We, we go to a lot of, we went the first year and made a lot of hires, and some of them, we heard a bunch of people didn't apply to us. And we said, well, why not? They said, well, I want to live in the South. I hate Beijing. So we opened up Shanghai. So <laughs> um, that's why we have Kirkland. That's why we have New York, Atlanta. Um, London, and so on and so forth. Um, but that's the approach we're taking. We go where the people are. We also hired a bunch of senior people. Um, we've hired, um, uh, we've brought a lot of Chinese Googlers from um, Mountain View, um, Kirkland, and New York to move to China to seed the culture, because that's really important. right? Um, and uh, we want to double all of these in, in 07, and probably double again in 08. And in 06, we hired um, about 100 people. Okay, that's um, may not sound like a huge number, but um, if you have friends or who have interviewed at Google, you know it's a pretty high bar. And finding 100 was really, really tough task. Uh, we have become instantly the number one employer. If you don't believe it, go on uh, Shui Mu Qinghua BBS and check out where the graduates want to go. Um, we're not involved in that website, and it's basically um, Everybody really, um, not everybody, but you know, 70, 80, 90 percent of the top people would choose Google as the number one destination if they're computer science graduates. Um, so over months, that's become possible. Nearly 100 percent in our first year accepted our offer. About 90 percent accepted our offer this year. Uh, we've hired a champion, programming champion of the world, ACM. We've also hired the champion of CodeJam, which is uh, Google's own programming competition. Hired number one student from many universities, and will grow and double and on, so on and so forth. So this is going really, really well. Now, the great people are coming on board, you know, senior people typically from abroad, uh, Chinese Americans or Chinese um, um, people with Chinese ancestry um, coming to, back to China, and then local campus hires uh, locally, and they're working well together. But that's only the first step. The other thing is we got lots of people who, who love us in China, so we're um, 
if you want to know why do people want to work at Google, googlehireme.com is an interesting website by a, uh, by a student who wanted to be hired by us. Um, there's um, a bunch of people who love us. We call them frogs, friends of Google. Um, they add, there's actually a website called gfan.org. Sorry, I forgot to put that up, which is a bunch of Chinese people, who, Chinese users, bloggers who love us. And then we've come up with our own China blog, googlechinablog.com, to tell people what we are. So it's, it's more a little bit of soft marketing to tell people, hey, this is a great place to work, so tell your friends about it. So that's another thing we did. And of course, another strength is I have, we have, is that um, Google is pretty popular on campuses. And um, I was told I'm pretty popular on Chinese campuses, too. So this is a picture of one talk I gave. <laughs> um, slightly larger than this crowd, huh? Um, this is another talk I gave. Um, and at this talk, the um, president of the university said, hey, Kai Fu, there's another 3,000 people waiting outside. And I said, that can't be. And then he, sh oh, I don't have the picture, sorry. There's a picture somewhere that shows the 3,000 people outside. <laughs> so um, I guess everything in China is large scale, but I think Google's popularity also helps. Um, there are also a number of opportunities that to get the word out outside of the talks we gave. Here is an example. I wrote a book upon joining Google, and it sold 700,000 copies. And um, we've hosted a, a Google Code Jam, which, um, in which 13,000 people entered and competed. And up there is me giving the award to the champion, who shortly after that joined Google. Um, but it's important also that we um, tell people, this is Google you're joining. You're not joining an outsourcing company. You're not joining a localization company. You're joining a company that has special values, um, that we, we, we believe in equal equality, that we believe in um, changing the world, that we believe in um, providing access to information, organizing the world's information, that we believe in that, that it's really very engineering-centric organization. And we really want to make sure people understand this is a special, unique, different company. So we have special orientations set up. I gave you know, so many talks, I can't count to our new hires. We have old timers who come and visit. Actually, Feng was one of them. And, but, but whenever they come, we have round tables. And of course, we have to lead by example. And remember that we represent Google culture, not cu culture of other companies we may have worked for. Um, and we have to localize the jobs. Okay, we can't just say, hey, one size fit all, everywhere is equal. Well, you know, in China, they employ, the, high, the people we hire aren't going to be as good English speakers. So as long as they're willing to learn English, we're happy to take on um, the, anyone who's a good researcher and engineer. Uh, we also create mentorship so that people get help. And we have lots of training, uh, including six to 12 months worth training, training in Mountain View, which is rather exceptional because we're betting everything in long term. These employees, we're betting long term. We're willing to train them even if they're not going to be instantaneously squeezing them every line of code out of them. That is not our goal, it's to prepare them for the long haul.